Hey everyone, so I thought I'd just do a quick video of my uh, fuel system on my Factory 5 Mark IV build and uh, kind of what I did. So I think it turned out pretty good, but basically you got you know, your aluminum line 3 as I did a 3 ace return so it's easier on the fuel pump. And uh, actually I'm going to go around to the other side here. So on the other side, um, I ran a, uh, you know, I got rid of the fuel pump. This is a Fox tank and there's no in-tank pump here and because I'm going to a carbureted application. And uh, I know a lot of people run mechanical pumps and uh, either way I'm going to regulate it and I didn't want to buy a new timing cover. And there's a lot of reasons I went to electrical. There's a lot of pros and cons I think to both. You'll get some opinions on each side, but uh, I chose this route. So you have the support to run bigger fuel. And again, this is 3S aluminum line. And I actually wanted to show the power of a lathe because down here I was able to turn this nice little bracket. This is a Carter bracket here for the pump. It's a Carter pump. Brushless, that's a big one. So uh, brushless motors, they don't have the contacts to burn out. There's a lot of good reasons to run a brushless motor. And uh, uh, but with this bracket, it's just a piece of aluminum, but basically I just turned a hole in it for this uh, Summit steel mesh uh, fuel filter. And uh, you know, it, it's gonna be hard to show the, the angles here, but uh, if you can see it here, there is a uh, cut I put in to this hole. So basically I'm able to clamp this filter with the rigid line going to the tank. And the whole intent was to avoid using rubber line wherever I could, but maintain, um, you know, a good structured fuel system. So where I did run hose was as I mounted to the quad shock bracket. I'm not going to run quad shocks. The Mark IVs I've read you don't really need them because the frames are stiffer. See, so it kind of had this perfect location low to the tank that you can access. So the reason I put it there was basically because it's low. And then if this pump burns out, I got a nice easy uh, access point. So as far as the lines go, um, again, just using a Harbor Freight tool or, uh, tube bender. And uh, I wanted to get these in now before I put the floors in. So that's a quick overview of the fuel system and uh, I'll let you know how it works out.